Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I will show you a 2014 American war film called Unbroken. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins as a United States Army Air Force Liberator bomber is flying above somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. Louis Louis Zamperini is a bombardier whose mission is to bomb the Japanese-held island of Nehru in April 1943. They manage to bomb the island but are severely attacked and a couple of them are injured from the gunfire. Their plane is also damaged and their pilot is doubtful that they will make it back to the camp that is five hours away. They manage to get back and land even though the plane suffers an exploded tire. As they are taking in gunfire, we are taken back to Louis as a kid. He and his family had just moved from Italy to California, America, and people around them did not fully accept them. Louis was an ill-mannered kid, constantly stealing and smoking. One day, he is drinking something from a white painted bottle when some kids start bullying him. An officer manages to save him but finds the bottle contains alcohol. He takes him home and his father canes him. Louis's mother is a religious person who prays every day for her son. Louis also likes to watch her cook. One day, he is sitting under the bleachers, looking at the lady's legs and drinking liquor. A man sees him and he runs very fast to avoid getting caught. His brother, Peter, who happens to be in the field, sees how fast he can run and decides to coach him. He encourages him, saying, if you can take it, you can make it. Words that stick with Louis all through. Years go by and Louis begins to learn discipline and becomes a distance runner, earning the word Torrance Tornado. Back to reality. Louis continues his exercises with a friend following him around in a motor vehicle. Phil comes and informs him that they have a search and rescue mission. They are given some extra crew and a plane previously used for spare parts. Suddenly, the airplane loses its left engines and Phil has no choice but to land it as gently as he could in the ocean of Oahu. Before it lands, a quick flashback of Louis in the Olympics is shown. Louis finishes the eighth in the 1936 Summer Olympics and sets a record in the final lap of the 5,000 meter race. The plane disintegrates as soon as it hits the water, killing eight crew members. Louis is trapped and almost gives up, but frees himself when the wreckage starts sinking. He swims afloat to discover that only Phil and Mac survived. He gets them into an inflatable raft that had been dispatched and starts examining the cut on Phil's head. In one raft, there is a pack of chocolates and a bottle of drinking water that Louis says they have to partition. However, the next day, Louis discovers that Mac had eaten all the chocolates in rage. An airplane passes above them and they try to get attention by shooting flares and throwing colored balls in the water, but it misses them. On their third day in the ocean, Mac is still freaking out with no hope of ever being found. Starved and thirsty, Louis catches an albatross, a bird, that lands on their raft and they eat it. Seconds later, they vomit their guts out. Phil suggests that the fish may not be as choosy and they catch one eating it raw. Louis encourages them by giving them stories about his mother and her cooking. On their 18th day, the three are so worn out, a storm rages on that night and Louis prays that if God saves his life, he would dedicate his whole life to serving him. The next day it rains and they get water to quench their thirst, collecting some of it. They continue eating raw fish. On their 27th day, they see a plane and try to get its attention. It turns out to be a Japanese aircraft and it shoots at them. They realize and jump in the ocean. They come back up only for the aircraft to return and shoot at them again. Luckily, no one is hurt. They are fixing the raft when a shark nearly attacks Louis. Mac surprises them when he is quick to attack the shark, saving Louis. They manage to fix one of the rafts and sail adrift in it. Mac dies six days later, and the two plunge him into the ocean. On the 47th day, tired of waiting for death, they are captured by the Japanese. Now, prisoners of war, the two are imprisoned as the Japanese try to find secrets on the U.S. intelligence. In the cell Louis is in, he finds that other prisoners had carved their names on the wall, and he carves his name too. The two are asked to disrobe and kneel on planks. Instead of being executed, they are crudely washed and shipped to Japan. Upon arrival, Phil and Louis are sent to different prisoner camps. Louis is taken to Camp Omori in Tokyo, where they are the responsibility of Japanese Corporal Mutashiro Watanabe. He picks on Louis, 
and breaks his nose when Louis looks at him. Louis later learns that he has the nickname The Bird. He comes from a military, sadistic, and wealthy family and is trying to live up to his father. One time, a soldier is found with a map and severely punished, showing how sadistic the Japanese soldiers were. After some time, Louis is allowed to broadcast a message home saying he is alive after the U.S. Army classified him as Killed in Action, or KIA. However, he refuses to broadcast another message laden with anti-American propaganda and is returned to the camp. Mutsuhiro Watanabe has every prisoner, over 200 of them, punch him in the face for refusing to cooperate. When the prisoners refuse, Mutsuhiro Watanabe brings a beat up Phil and starts beating him. Louis encourages the prisoners to punch him. The torture continues day after day. Two years later, some prisoners are entertaining the others with a play remake of Cinderella when Mutsuhiro Watanabe approaches Louis and tells him that he has been promoted. He leaves the next day. Louis has some days of peace until the camp is attacked and bombed. The other prisoners are scared that when the camp is destroyed, they will be killed. After helping put out the fire, the prisoners are taken out to another prison center. They walk through the rampage and see several Japanese who have died from the bomb. They are taken by train to Naatsu Prison. Here, they are to help the Japanese in mining for coal. As they are being aligned to meet their new commander, Louis almost faints when he learns that it is Mutsuhiro Watanabe. He has been promoted to sergeant, a position where he supervises the prisoners at work loading coal barges. The other workers in the place seem tired, exhausted, and malnourished with soldiers barking orders every minute. The exhaustion gets the better of them, and one prisoner falls from up the narrow walkway and dies. One day they are informed that Roosevelt is dead and the Great Depression falls over the entire camp. Louis is carrying coal one day when an officer pushes him, and he sprains his leg. The whole experience is traumatic to Louis, and he stops talking to his friends. One day, Louis takes a little break to relieve his sprained leg, but a Japanese soldier gets to him and takes him to Mutsuhiro Watanabe. Mutsuhiro Watanabe has Louis pick up a heavy beam and lift it over his head. Louis struggles and does so. Mutsuhiro Watanabe orders a guard to shoot Louis if he drops it. Louis lifts it and continues doing so even as the hours pass, and he is exhausted. Finally, he looks at Mutsuhiro Watanabe in the eye. This angers the sergeant so much that he starts beating up Louis with his baton. In a rage, he punches him and steps on him, saying he is nothing. At that moment, Louis visualizes himself running at the Olympics, his happy place. The whole prison watches as Mutsuhiro Watanabe beats up Louis, leaving him for dead. The next scene takes us to the Japanese announcing that the war has ended. Prisoners would be rewarded by taking a bath in the river. The prisoners are liberated when the Americans occupy Japan, and a bomber flies overhead confirming this. They receive food, cigarettes, and canned sweets. Louis tries to find Mutsuhiro Watanabe in his quarters but discovers that he has already fled leaving a picture of him as a young boy standing alongside his father. The final scene is of Louis kissing the ground when he returns home to America. His parents await him, and they hug him. At the end of the film, there is a slideshow of the real Louis and events that followed after the war. He married his beloved Cynthia Applewhite in 1946, and they had a daughter, Sissy, and a son, Luke. Lieutenant Russell Phil Phillips also survived the war and married his sweetheart, Cece. Phil and Louis remained close friends long after the war. Mutsuhiro Watanabe, the bird, went into hiding, evading prosecution despite being placed on the top of the 40 most wanted Japanese war criminals list. Years later, he was granted amnesty by the U.S. in its attempt to reconcile with Japan. After several years of dealing with post-traumatic stress, Louis was able to live a good life and made good on his promise to devote his life to God. He returned to Japan, where he made peace with his captors and tormentors, even Mutsuhiro Watanabe. Louis had a chance to relive his life in the Olympics when he ran a leg of the Olympic torch relay for the 1998 Winter Olympics in Japan, a few miles from where he was prisoner. He was 80 at the time. Let this story encourage you to be strong no matter what you are going through. Some have it worse. What do you think about this movie? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more movie recaps like this one. Like and share this video.
Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on new content about your favorite movies. Do you want to keep the entertainment going? Well, check out this related video to see more and I will see you in the next video.